Hey guys, Katherine King here, and I have a really, really fun haul. So as some of you know, I am a Kringle ambassador. And as part of that, sometimes we get PR. And I guess, I don't know if they have a new way of doing it now or how it works. Um, if you hear the TV, sorry, Tim's out there watching jail. We love the show jail. Sometimes Multnomah County and Washington County is on it. So right now, actually, it's really funny. It's Las Vegas EDC. They have a bunch of people in from EDC, which is, um, you know, electric dance music kind of thing. Anyway, so it's a fun one. Back to candles. So as a Kringle ambassador, sometimes you get PR. I've never, I got my original three candles when I first signed up. I was accepted to be an ambassador and I got the reserve line, guys. I didn't get all. I got six of the seven reserve line. I did order three additional ones. I ordered the one I didn't get and I ordered two other ones. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started. So I am going to start with one that kind of um kind of had an oopsie in shipping. So this is how it arrived. Sometimes um I I guess the black ones can arrive broken. So um just be very careful see how it, it is it's broke, it's being held on by the sticker. Um, this is how it arrived when I took the lid off the box. Um, this is, this is what I got. Oh my gosh, guys, it smells so good. Anyway, I did let Kringle know that it arrived broken. I did inform them they did not need to send me a replacement. And this is purely because this was PR to me. This didn't cost me anything and I did not want them to send me out another candle when they already sent me one for free. It's a personal choice that I made to not have the candle replaced. But I do want to talk to you about the candle. So it's pumpkin and santal um, or santal and pumpkin and it the top notes our pumpkin puree, nutmeg, and clove. You got to be very careful when sn sniffing them when they're broken. Uh, middle layer, white leather, rich santal accord, and then the base notes of vanilla woods, glowing amber, patchouli, and caramel musk. It is a very sensual kind of candle. I could... It's way outside my wheelhouse, but I could see this being perfect for like a bedroom, a bathroom. Maybe if you have one of those big luxurious tubs where you can burn a candle next to, you know, taking a bath, you know, having it go, you know, while you're taking a bubble bath, that's the feel I get with this candle. So what can you do when you get a shattered candle like this? What I'm going to do is I am going to freeze it. And then what that'll do is it will pull the candle away from the sides of the jar. And then I'll either chop it up and warm it or I will just cut it in half, put it in another um, candle vessel, you know, the, about the size of the, you know, Bath and Body Works or maybe even a, an old Bath and Body Works and I will warm it that way in a candle crock. So that's what I'm going to do with this particular candle um, because it did come broken. Again, personal choice because it was free to me. I did not want them to send it out again. So that was my choice. Now, if it was this candle, I might have them send it again. Where is it? Oh, oh my gosh. So this one, I I ordered one of these. So I have my notes down here. So if you see me looking at my iPad, my iPad down here. Guys, pumpkin buns. Oh, I had to I had to order a second one of these. So I ordered three additional candles. I ordered the one that didn't come in in my PR and I ordered this one and another one. Oh my gosh, guys, this one is so good. Let me tell you about this one. 
So top notes, pumpkin, apple, peach, and clove. No words, no words. Middle notes, cinnamon, ginger, mixed nuts, and nutmeg. Now I don't get any kind of nut, but it doesn't mean I'm not gonna get that when I warm it or burn it. And then the base notes, caramel, maple syrup, milk, and vanilla. Seriously, this is, see how these are actually buns? These aren't like miniature pumpkins. These are, you know, pumpkin buns. That is exactly what this smells like. There isn't that yeastiness. It is, actually, I don't think there's any, yeah, I don't see any bread note in the notes of this one. It is just that pumpkin, and I love a good clove, and oh, this one, you have to get this one. If you're going to get any in the collection, you need to pick up pumpkin buns. It is delicious. Now, be careful when putting these on, um, because they are painted, it can make them thicker or something. Um, I haven't really uh, had much experience with the reserve line, so I'm so excited and I'm extremely grateful that I did get this collection in PR. Okay, let's talk about the next one. Royal Cherries. Isn't that beautiful? I love the photo. So Royal Cherries is cherry, sweet almond, and pineapple. And I do get that hint of pineapple in there. Rose and white flower, I don't smell. And musk, creamy, sandalwood, and caramel. To me, it's just a very beautiful, delicious, juicy cherry. And I'm actually warming a cherry um, tonight. I have found that there are certain cherries I like. This isn't that that deep, you know, dark, yucky cough syrup cherry to me. This is just a very, oh, it is just a sweet cherry. And I think mixed with that pineapple just really kind of puts it over the edge. Now, once it's warming, will the musk and stuff come out? I sure hope so, because I think that will really set this apart from any other cherry candle. So that one is Royal Cherries. Okay, next one, red maple. Red maple is jasmine, orange, saffron as your top notes. It's very, um, it, it's so hard to describe because it is, it's like a very sexy perfumey, but not like perfume, but cashmere kind of scent. And then you have amber gris, which I don't know what that is, cedar wood and vanilla, base of fur, moss, and musk. And it's beautiful. This is not foodie. This is, this isn't leaves. This is a very sexy, sensual kind of scent. This one I think would be another beautiful one in the bedroom, in the bathroom, honestly everywhere, but that's where I see this one. So, so delicious. So it says red maple, but it, this isn't like a maple candle. This is, oh, it's, it's delicate. I would say that it's very delicate. Oh, guys, this is such an amazing collection. I I honestly, words can't express how grateful I am that Kringle did choose me as an ambassador and that I did get sent this collection. Um, there just aren't words. So um, not everybody who signs up to be an ambassador gets to be an ambassador and so just forever, forever grateful. Anyway, next one, Radiant Apple. And I did buy a second one of this one. This one is blue. Can't hardly see what that word is. Pearmain, pearmain, something like that, apple. Oh, it's 
so good. Okay, ruby red grapefruit, lemon zest, which you definitely get that hint of lemon zest, um, and pin pineapple. I don't know what pin pineapple is, but yeah. And then blue raspberry, yes. Bitter verbena, tender violet blossom, and then cane sugar and white woods. So I get definitely the blue raspberry and that lemon zest. And then you just kind of get a mingle of the rest of those scents. It's delightful. Oh my gosh, it is so good. I'm so glad I bought two of these. And the blue raspberry with it. And the I mean, look at the photo. I don't know if that's a blue pearmain apple, but I'd like to find a a blue apple. I think they'd be awesome. Anyway, it's delicious. It is so delicious. It kind of reminds me, I know it's got the blue raspberry, but it reminds me a little bit of um, just, you know, barely heading into the fall season, um, you know, and you're wanting to warm the apple scents or you're going out to the pumpkin patch and um, there's apple cider, you know, it kind of, sorry, my eye itches. Um, it kind of reminds me of, of that feel, but the blue raspberry and the lemon zest just kind of add a, a zing to it. Fantastic. Highly recommend that one. Okay, next one, Gilded Leaves. Now look at that photo. So beautiful. Gilded Leaves is Autumn Leaf, Mountain Laurel, and Berry Bitters. Hmm. Tobacco leaf, fresh hewn cedar, and glistening amber. No, I don't I don't smell any cedar, at least not on cold. Um, earthy patchouli, vanilla musk, and sandalwood. So this one is a definitely a more earthy candle. So if you're wanting to you know, it, it, it <laughs> makes me think of Ashley Overly. She always feels one with the earth. She likes grass and dirt and, you know, to, to feel that in, you know, on her feet and to experience it and to smell it. it. It just brings her back to home and growing up. And that is kind of the feel of this candle. It's definitely more of an earthy kind of candle out of my comfort zone completely. Maybe I can smell the earthy patchouli, but I don't know. It is, it's, it's different. All I can say, it's a very earthy candle. So, so if you like earthy, um, type of, of candles, but this isn't like leaves or, or that kind of stuff. But if you like that kind of earthy feel, this would be the candle for you. Okay. And then the last one, which this is. I'm sorry, I'm playing with my eyes, guys. This is the one I had to order that wasn't in the collection or it wasn't sent with the collection. It wasn't ready to be sent yet. <clears throat> and it's funny, look how full that is. I mean, that is a, I mean, that's a lot of wax, guys. Oh, 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 it smells so good. Okay, this one's called the Great Pumpkin. And of course I had to order this one. Oh my gosh, guys. This is a foodies, foodies candle for sure. So this is pumpkin, cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger root, toffee, and vanilla. And this is, this is the perfect pumpkin scent. Because to me, yeah, it has cinnamon, nutmeg, and ginger, which are three of the things that I put in my pumpkin bread. Mm. This is, I mean, it's, it's just absolute heaven. Oh, it's so delicious. This is, I, I, I almost kind of wish I had gotten two of these instead of the cinnamon buns. This one is heaven, absolutely heaven. Highly, highly, highly. If you like pumpkin, but you don't want a lot of spice, I really, really recommend this one. Because even though it has the spice in it, this isn't like, oh, hold it. Whoa, no, um, ugh. That has, that has too much spice. Mm-mm, mm-mm. 
this is pumpkin with its spices, if that kind of makes sense. Cannot wait to warm this one. So that one is the great or great pumpkin. I cannot wait to start um, burning these. I will be burning them, um, obviously, except for the one that is broken. Uh, I'm not going to put these in the crock unless I feel like I need to. So I will be burning these. I'm excited to get get my nose into it, get to experience these. Um, some of them I might have to burn in a pass-through room or I might, you know, because, uh, you know, it might give me a headache. I'm not sure. Um, the gilded leaves, potentially red maple, but I don't think so. Those might be the only two. Well, in this, the pumpkin and sun tall, I'm, I'm going to have to figure that one out. So it's an amazing line of candles. Are they more expensive? Yes. Are they worth the money? Yes, they are. They use um, better oils. The wax is amazing. They burn really clean. You're not going to get all that soot. So I highly recommend the reserve line. They do sell out very, very quickly. Um, they launch at 9 a.m. Eastern time. So I'm Pacific. So for me, that's 6 a.m. on Saturday, September 23rd. So um, I would highly recommend getting on when they launch because I would assume that the majority of these will sell out very, very quickly. Their reserve line usually does. So that's what I'm putting out to you guys. I want to thank Kringle again for sending me these candles as PR. Um, I feel absolutely blessed to, to be an ambassador. So anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.